Hi, I'm Doug Horvath, Chair of the Miami Valley Leave No Child Inside Collaborative, and I'm happy to announce the 2001 Connect to Nature Award winners. The Miami Valley Leave No Child Inside Collaborative engages and empowers our community to make time and create access for outdoor exploration, play, and learning. We challenged our community organizations to be the best at connecting kids to nature, with kids becoming healthier, happier, and smarter. Since 2017, in partnership with Dayton Regional Green, Miami Valley Leave No Child Inside has issued 48 awards to schools, parks, and libraries, and others who have completed the Connect to Nature Award nomination requirements, all of which enable the Ohio Children's Outdoor Bill of Rights, a proclamation endorsed by 28 municipalities in the Miami Valley. Our 2021 Connect to Nature School Award winner goes to Bright Beginnings Christian Preschool out of Springboro, Ohio. Some of the highlights from their nomination include that they send a newsletter with a dedicated Connect to Nature spot that gives ideas to families to play and hike and read and do crafts all directly connected to the outdoors. Also, they've dedicated outdoor playground spaces in a space they call the side lot and set up two other areas for outdoor classrooms to be used by teachers. Teachers daily schedule allows time for each of these spaces. They use their green spaces to hold picnics with parrots during the school years, a carnival, as well as a Halloween party, weather permitting, and students and parents are invited to explore the outdoor spaces during the Meet the Teacher event as well. Teachers also hold play dates at local parks for former students to meet up over the summer. Our 2021 Connect to Nature Award site winner is Agraria Center for Regenerative Practice out of Yellow Springs, Ohio. Highlights of their nomination included their nature school programs and the big map out partnership with a local Yellow Springs schools. That was all about getting kids outside. Staff at Agraria worked with teachers and 200 students through the use of five minute videos corresponding uh, lesson plans that guided the students to be outside on a weekly basis where they explored their backyards, side yards, and local parks. The key was that this happened in all kinds of weather and it built good habits such as nature walks and sit spots and the careful use of senses. Then they recorded these findings on the same map for a whole year. It was a deep connection with this place-based goal. They've also been working with their local farmers and the city and high school to make a bike trail that will connect this local high school to their facility at Agraria. That way local folks will be able to travel to the site and enjoy nature along the path. So congratulations to Bright Beginnings Christian Preschool and Agraria Center for Regenerative Practice for their nomination and being recognized as Connect to Nature School and Site. We also want to encourage all adults out there to be that special person that helps children stay connected to nature and enable the Ohio Children's Outdoor Bill of Rights. We'd love to recognize your good work to help our children and we accept nominations year round on our webpage. We would be even happy to help coach you through the process if you want to contact us. And now, our My Valley No Child Inside Collaborative member, Five Rivers Metro Parks, will make their presentation for the Outstanding Teacher Award. Thanks, Doug. I'm Erin, a naturalist with Five Rivers Metro Parks. Each year, Five Rivers Metro Parks recognizes kindergarten through 12th grade classroom educators who are connecting students with inspiring outdoor experiences that shape positive attitudes towards nature with the Outstanding Teacher Award. Whether it be through a schoolyard garden, building bird feeders, or using the outdoors as inspiration for art, these educators are using nature to bring classroom lessons to life and engage their students in new and exciting ways. Three deserving educators are given this award each year based on their years of service. This year, the Rising Star Outstanding Teacher Award for less than 10 years of service goes to Patricia Lewis from Roosevelt Elementary. The Leader Outstanding Teacher Award for 10 to 20 years of service goes to Suzanne Matalo from Primary Village South. And the Lifetime Achievement Outstanding Teacher Award for greater than 20 years of service goes to Brian Brogan from the Antioch School. Congratulations. The hard work and passion that these educators put into everything they do is apparent. Their nominators enthusiastically wrote of the positive impact that these educators are having on the students as well as the school community by encouraging kids to get outside and active in natural spaces. I was lucky enough to talk with our award winners at their schools 
and just the short amount of time that I spent with them, I was blown away by their dedication, innovation, passion, and hard work. But you don't have to take it from me. I'm excited to introduce you to our Outstanding Teacher Award winners. So this is our green space. We have a fruit tree with grapevines. We have four raised beds for vegetables. Uh, we have a raised bed for flowers, uh, birdhouses, the, the students contribution is they designed and they chose where to put the beds. They go through seed catalogs, they figure out what to plant, they pick the best location to plant the seeds. Um, we come out here with little gloves and rakes and shovels, we weed everything, we plant like the, the whole, the students do the whole work. Kids are so into technology right now that they sometimes forget they need to go outside and get dirty and they forget that nature exists. Um, a lot of times we have snack with fresh fruits and vegetables, they don't know where the stuff comes from. They think it's just from the grocery store. Um, I think my favorite thing about the garden is when we come out and we harvest stuff and then they realize they can actually pull it out of the ground and eat it. <laughs> I think it's just, I don't, I've, I've always been a, somebody out in nature, I've always got my kids out in nature and it's, it's, to me it's more fun than being stuck on a screen. I think it's important to incorporate nature into well, in particular the art program, but throughout our school, um, we're finding more and more children are not having the experience of being outdoors. And um, we have just such a great environment here at PBS. So um, we want to share that with our students and make sure they're comfortable with it so that they can grow into adults that um, appreciate nature, that take care of nature, and um, really enjoy being part of you know the natural world. So um, we, we really want our students to respect uh, you know, nature. And we have a, a great you know, pond here in the background. Um, one of the things as um, the, the children learn how to kind of you know, navigate in our courtyard and how to be respectful of things. I mean, we were a little nervous at first having a water feature at a K-1 building. And then we thought, you know what? We can handle this and we can teach our, our students how to be safe around it, and they are. At the Antioch School, we use a lot of our outdoor spaces all of the time. Behind us, actually, is one of our spaces. And uh, we have three outdoor classrooms that we use. Uh, one for the older group, one for the younger group, and one for the kindergarten. And uh, we also are right across the street from Glen Helen which is a thousand acre nature preserve and we hike there every week. I think a nature and a respecting nature is essential for all human beings. And so one of the, my biggest goals with children, working with children over the years has been to help them gain a healthy respect for nature, to appreciate it, to appreciate the, all the plants and animals. And I think by doing that, they'll become better stewards of our planet, really. Our local environment and the bigger. Congratulations again to Patricia Lewis, Suzanne Matolo, and Brian Brogan, our Outstanding Teacher Award winners. And we would also like to thank the Virginia W. Kettering Fund for providing our award winners with supplies and opportunities to support them in continuing to get their students outside and deepening their connection with nature. We are blessed in the Miami Valley with many educators in our community that are pushing the boundaries of their classrooms to include the outdoors. And we encourage educators who may have not taken that leap yet to start exploring their outdoor spaces and considering how they can bring nature into their classroom. As a community, we have the power to foster a generation that respects and has a positive relationship with nature. Miami Valley Leave No Child Inside partner, the Miami County Park District is issuing an outside everyday challenge to families everywhere. Can your kids meet the goal of spending 1,000 hours outside this year? Try it for health, happiness, and overall wonderful family bonding. Research around the world shows that outdoor play, exploration, and learning are beneficial to children of all ages. Time outdoors has been linked with increased mental and physical health, from strengthening the immune system to building confidence and focus at home and school. Unstructured outdoor time provides bonding opportunities to families, enhances creativity and imagination, and it's just plain fun. No matter where you are from, the Miami County Park District is calling families to accept the Outside Everyday Challenge. The program is free to join and participate in. Register at the Outside Everyday Challenge website 
and earn amazing prizes as you work towards 1,000 hours outdoors this year. Download a 1,000 hour tracker and fill it in as you spend fun time bonding with your family outside. Complete outdoor adventures on a monthly bingo card. Check out our website and Facebook page for ideas. Read Nature Quest books and complete activities based on their story. The opportunities for outdoor adventures are endless and we encourage you to be creative. There are many prizes to earn and many ways to get them. Earn automatic prizes based on the amount of time you and your family spend outdoors. For every 100 hours outside, you'll get to select a different prize. The closer you get to 1,000 hours, the bigger the prizes get. Every month, play an outdoor bingo game and be entered in for the monthly drawing. Share your adventures on the Everyday Outside Challenge Facebook and be entered into weekly drawings. Again, registration and participation in this program is free. We challenge you to be outside every day for a thousand hours this year and reap the benefits of a healthier, happier family.